welcome you all on tech special information so this is another video about Perl scripting so we have already uploaded some videos about some Perl scripting so in this video we are going to discuss some concepts about Perl so in upcoming videos we will try to cover almost all concept about Perl so in this video we are going to start from very basic and it will go up to advanced level so at first let's see how to print hello world in Perl so to print something we have to use the keyword print then space then inside double quote we can write hello world for using new line we can use backslash n okay now control plus d so it is printing hello world now let's see how to declare a variable or how to store some value inside a variable dollar x dollar symbol is compulsory for a variable x is our variable name and inside x we are going to store a value suppose that is 56 now if we want to print the value we have to use the print keyword inside this value of x is dollar dollar x so if inside double quote we write dollar followed by variable name so dollar x will be replaced by a value of x we can write backslash in to print a new line now control d value of x is 56 so in this way we can declare variable store value inside variable and we can print it now let's see how to store a string inside a variable suppose we are taking a variable name dollar n inside this we are going to store a string this is Perl tutorial okay so this is our string we have stored inside a variable dollar n so if you want to print the variable we will just use print dollar n okay let's see control n so this is Perl tutorial now let's learn about basics of array in Perl so how to declare array at the red symbol is necessary then array name is a then we have to use equal symbol and inside a pair of parentheses we will store our array elements like 5 7 9 11 13 so this must array elements we have stored inside our array a now if we want to print the element so first element of array okay so how to print dollar to print a single element we have to use dollar followed by array name and square bracket is necessary so first element means index number 0 inside a square bracket we have to put the index number okay now print if I want to print more than one elements elements from we are not writing anything ok so you want to print more than one element so at the rate a inside square bracket suppose I want to print from 7 9 and 11 these three elements I want to print so I can write like this dot dot 1 2 1 2 3 3 let's see what it is printing then we will conclude it so yeah now control D so first element of the array 5 we have not used any new line character so it is just a starting printing end of the first line so first element of the array that is 5 is correct elements from we wanted to print 7 9 and 11 
so 1 dot dot 3 that means from position from index 1 to 3 index 0 means element 5 index 1 means element 7 index 2 means element 9 and so on now see another thing that is also very important we are declaring the same array elements are 5 7 9 11 13 and show how to print the last element so print last element how to print last element dollar a square bracket negative index minus one we have to use to print the last element okay we have to end that quotation and if we want to print the second last element how to print it you can guess it that is dollar a index number should be minus two okay we have to end the quotation and here we go control d so last element is 13 second last element is 11 okay i think it is clear how to store array and show something more what is more suppose i am taking another array array name is arr inside this we are storing different types of elements like what ram we are storing some names also sham okay 6.7 8.2 okay so we have few different types of variables inside this array now we want to print let's see control d so sham 8.2 so in Perl inside array we can store different types of elements okay so another thing if we want to see number of elements present inside array we have to write like this dollar hash followed by array name let's see so number of elements are four one two three four five so uh, if you want to see number of elements we have to add one so if you write if you print dollar hash arr so it will print the index of last element so if you want to see the number of elements we have to add one with it okay another topic that is if you want to print all elements of the array we can print like this print then array name at the rate a so it will print all elements without any space okay now I have to show something if you want to print all elements space separated then how to do how to do it you can see here it is very simple you have to print at the rate a then a single space so it will print the elements space separated so suppose I want to do something else let's see this one also suppose at the rate a we are storing some variables three four five six seven i want to specify what should be what should be separator among the elements you can write like this dollar suppose i want element should be separated by this scope resolution operator okay print at the rate let's see it's giving correct result or not so there was a mistake let me see now at the rest okay first we are entering into interactive mode then we are declaring the array so pair of parentheses is required suppose we are putting the elements 
okay now dollar is simple equal you have to put it inside single quote okay print at the rate a control d so this example i want to show you using a file so at first let's discuss some basic about gvm editor also okay first let's create a directory using mkdir perl tutorial let's go to home directory okay editor dot slash perl So in this folder, I want to create a file using vim. Then array example exe dot pl. Okay, dot pl extension we can use for file files. Now here I will show how to write a script. Dollar slash. First, okay. First, we have to go to insert mode using i, then hash, this is called shebang symbol, then you should write user bin pearl, okay. What this user bin pearl? How to get it? I'll show you that one also. Okay, later I'll, I can show you that one. At first, let's write that code. At the rate a, then put the elements. Okay. Then dollar this symbol equal quotation is necessary here. We want to print elements separated by this symbol double colon okay now you have to write print here also quotation is necessary okay now how to save this file you have to press escape then colon w q w means right q means quit enter now how to run a perl code Perl Perl followed by file name arr underscore exe dot ps. Let's see. You can see here elements are this scope resolution operator separated. So one way to execute the program is Perl keyword followed by file name. Let's see another way to execute the program. First, open the file first. Okay. This is our file. The first line is called shebang line. I have already told you. Now, let's try to execute. That is dot slash followed by file name. This string permission denied. Let's see what permissions are there ls minus l followed by file name if you want to if you want a video about the uh, unix comment you can comment me in the comment box section i will upload a separate video about that uh, unix comments so you can see first there is a read and write so only read and write permission is there for the file so how to keep execution permission so this file require execution permission to for the execution and if the file don't have execution permission you can execute that file using perl keyword ch nrd or give the execution permission u for user x for execution followed by file yeah now see you can see now execution permission has come previously it was r and w r for read 
w for write and x for execution now we can execute this file in this way see what result has come 